All right, welcome back. So in this section, we showed you how to list all of your branches, add new branches, change back and forth between branches, merge a branch into another branch, and then remove a branch. So in this video, we'll review all the steps one by one. The first thing we'll do is list our branches and see which one we're inside of. For this, we'll use the command git branch. We can see the asterisk next to the name master, and master is in green. So we know that we're inside of the master branch. Also note that this is indicated by the name of the branch that's inside of the parentheses next to our path. Now, if we want to add a new branch, we type git checkout dash b and the name of the new branch. We'll call this one feature one. Now we can see that we are inside of feature one branch indicated by this message here and also by the name of feature one inside of the parentheses next to our path. So if we want, we can check git branch one more time and we can see here's our original master branch which we're no longer inside of. Here's our new feature one branch with the asterisk next to the name and the name is in green indicating that we are inside of the feature one branch. So if we want to change back into master, we can type git checkout master. So now if we want to create some changes inside of the feature one branch and then merge them into master, we can do this by checking out the feature one branch. We'll go ahead and add a file and we'll call it file7.txt and we'll check our git status. We'll add that file7.txt and give it a commit message of add file7.txt. All right. Now if we check our git log, we can see we have add file7.txt. So we'll check out master and if we check our git log, we can see that we don't have the file7.txt and also file7 no longer exists here inside of the directory. So what we can do is we can do a git merge feature1 and this will merge feature1 into master. So we have to be sure that we're inside of the master branch before merging the feature one into it. So if we hit enter, we can see that file7.txt has been added. And if we do a git log, we can see that add file7.txt, the commit from feature one branch has been added into the master branch. Now that we have the commit from the feature one branch inside of the master branch, we might want to remove the feature branch. Remember, I don't recommend removing branches unless you absolutely have to, but if you want to, here's the command. We'll do a git branch, just to double check and make sure that we're inside of master, and then a git branch dash d, and the name of the branch that we want to delete. In this case, it's feature one. Now that we've deleted the branch, we can check git branch again, and see that we only have master. If we check our log, we can see that we still have that commit from the feature branch and we have file7.txt. Now one thing that you might have noticed is that we got the commit message from the feature1 branch instead of having to create our own commit message inside of that nano program like we did in the earlier video. The reason for this is because we didn't add any new commits to the master branch after we created the feature branch. So if you look at what we have here, you can see that we went from having our initial commit and then we have the commit right before we created our feature branch. And then we went to our feature branch and we created this new commit here. What happens is when we merge, that commit actually gets moved in what's called a fast forward down into the master branch. So it would look a little more like this where these two commits are actually the same commit. So the master branch has been fast forward to catch up with this new commit from the feature branch. And now we have this commit here in our master branch because we merged it down from the feature one branch. But now that we've deleted the feature one branch, it no longer exists. And this is what our linear timeline looks like. So just note that this commit here at the very end is the one that got fast forwarded from the feature one branch and now we have this linear timeline and it looks really nice and it's not cluttered.